Well, I started the label in 1989. At the time I was entering law school at the University of Chicago, I realized there were all these wonderful Chicago artists who I used to hear in my days as an undergraduate in concerts and live broadcasts from the WFMT studios. But when I went to look for their recordings, there were none to be found. Chicago actually had no classical recording company to uh, showcase these artists, so I made that from day one the focus of Sadie Records. We're recording an album of music for flute, clarinet, and piano with the McGill McHale Trio. Chicago is one of the major cultural destinations of the world, so this is great. I mean, it really is, for us, a, a big deal to be doing this in our hometown. Recording opportunities help artists in a lot of ways. Artists often say to me that these become really their calling cards, and having a reputable label, putting out really high-quality productions for these artists, they get themselves noticed. We will gladly pass on this CD and that will greatly increase our chances of, of being hired. When you do a concert, you, you maybe get one review, you get one audience, and then that's it over. Uh, whereas when you've made this, it can kind of go on and generate its own momentum for years afterwards at times, and particularly with radio airplay, uh, you can just reach a much wider audience, and that's, that's one of the greatest things about it, I think, for us. Our goal is to serve the artist rather than the artist serving the label. Our promotion, as much as possible, really centers on the artist because we're not just promoting a recording, we're really promoting the artists on the recording. One thing that makes CD special really is that we're not pitching repertoire. Uh, the artists really come to us with their ideas. They say, here's the music I'm passionate about recording. Because when artists play music they care most about, you get the best performances. The process of deciding the repertoire and working with City, the label on this, uh, was really exciting because we got to come up with all our own ideas, but then also there was that really interesting collaboration and input, and Jim was always kind of, we were bouncing our ideas off him, and it was a really organic process, I think. To have a label that's open to like using new composers and having new music and having exciting new music and really wonderful music that should be will become a part of the standard repertoire for this ensemble is something that is really amazing. I think the result will be a, a brilliant, uh, varied, exciting CD. Yeah, we're grateful to the label for, for being open to that. I guess what I'm proudest about uh, for CD is the feedback I get from the artists and composers and ensembles we work with, uh, how valuable they say what we do is to them, to their careers, and also to their desire to document their finest work. Mm -hmm.